Okay, that, that, that might actually, actually still be too tough. Yeah, that, uh, I don't. Stomp circles are fun, man, but uh, they're still still kind of weird sometimes. What is going on there? Milt 22 and Fiuma right on top of each other here. I mean, right on top of each other as they go for the drop. It looks like they should be avoiding, maybe avoiding oh, each other. I don't know. No, they're I, like I they're think going they're for just the same hard committing, here. you know? I'm actually not quite sure what's happening. You can see Emmy is just trying to keep eyes uh, on Hazeton and everybody else that's landing on top. In fact, Capitan might be an opportunity. To <laughs> oh, never mind. He misses that car, and Hazeton's just going to take it and drive back out. So I'm just pushing them away on that rotation, maybe finding a lucky knock on. Right now, it's just making sure they've got that breathing room to get where they want to be inside the zone as more teams start to move down. Troglodyte is coming all the way down from North George. They're able to get in safely, backtracking behind TM. But look at this. Sonic's being chased by Bing Bang Boom. Shark Shots is going to drive straight forward. Him, does get each one down in the drive by, but it's traded by Tickleton. Immediate crash coming through, and now nicely picked up by Keenan, but he's down to just three HP. He's the last one alive, and he's going to get <gasps> spotted by Dean Zara as Peak has decided to join this party. Game five, and everybody is crashing. Uh, Peak saw what was happening, knew this was the time to strike with so many members knocked down from Sonics. It's down to just Tickleton, who stepped out from the shack. Tickleton's does get farming. Elfish as well as Viz, but 19 HP and underhand Molly. He is going to fall here, but was able to get Arma a bit low. Didn't find the knock, but Peak lose two on this crash. What? the hell just happened? Vinny is not letting up just yet. A couple shots towards Flood, but oh, just broke that line of sight at a most unfortunate time as you see Gizetta and Hazleton closing in the gap to try to take out this threat. It just feels like if you're 22, how much time do you want to commit to this? And okay, they'll get the they'll get the grenade knock on Flood as a... Uh, don't get the flush just yet, though. But while all this is going on, they're getting shot at from range. The rest of the boys not giving up on this. And there you go. He's going to take a knock as well in return as we cut back off to the north where Wildcard is camping the road for Rumblers. They've also got TX just off in the north as well. Yeah, I mean, if you know that Rumblers are in Yasna, you know that this is going to rotate through. You set up for it. Problem is, Cal's vehicle, it's a little too obvious now as Waldo swings wide, does get taken down uh, just a little bit in terms of damage. Cal landing on those light show Valiant. Nikos finds a knock onto this and close on the drive by Nikos gets taken down. Show picks one off. As you can see, tries to now avoid Greg shot. Just sheer insanity coming out here in the final game of the day. Day number two. Nikos is down. Why kick a boot cow? Gonna try to go as Light Show continues <laughs> to seat swap. He's down to no HP. He will go down to Adam. As there are minus threes all over the place in fantasy right now. Adam trying to make the push in. He might have been blinded as he just sprays through. We'll get the res on his fallen teammate Waldo now. Um, you know, I mean, at the same time, right? You do need to be a little bit more mindful of what's been happening. But let's break away from that second peak. We oh, saw no. the crashes comp on earlier. Synergy now taking their talk or their time onto this. Pippa throwing a Molotov at Dean Zero, jumping up onto the mattress. Stein stay up and alive as armor gets taken down by Binya. More Molotovs. That room is absolutely on fire. And a final nade from Silzen is going to take out Dean Zero. So Peak's reign ends. And Synergy's just going to continue moving on. Now, look, take a look at the zone. That is how far away 22 and United are, but it looks like they finally gave up. You know, they're like, you know what? All right, this has been fun, but let's get in the circle. Yeah, I mean, they've only put down eight points so far today, and that is not like we saw yesterday, which was a 70-point day for LG. But you know what? Teams have bad days. So shake it off. Reset. Start again. As you Ooh. see, uh, Luke 12 not having a bad moment. Ooh. If he gets that one, should find the second. There it is. Four poor men out in 13th. And now Luminosity... They can head into zone. They can reset portal. They right. can leave this corner. Hey, man. Let's see. Um, on the one story already. On Corsac. Walker? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walker. You guys are in on yellow line. It's just not great. It's like. Oh, we just get pinched between Gary and Walker. Yeah. Walker's four, I believe. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they have this as well. I don't know if they want to give all that up. Yeah, careful on wrapping south. You could be on a roof. Yeah, it's actually horrible. One spot for that guy. East. He's tagged twice. Careful grenades there, Corsac. Corsac tagged the east guy. Backside See if I can run story. last. Backside one story one. Uh, we can just play all in orange. Uh, Nading Corsac. Two backside. Two backside. Taking topo. I'm running orange. Try to save uh, some. Yeah, I'm running with you, Ethan. 
And they've used a lot of utility in this fight as well as the circle did hard shift back away. And that's going to be a, a bit of a tough walk into zone. So they need to make sure they don't waste too much time on this fight with Wildcard. Unfortunately, as you guys can see on the minimap as well, Goody started to creep out of that compound because they have the same issue. They can't get a zone safely until these two teams have been eliminated. But Niku's and got knock and flush onto Hikerman. It's all down to Korstak, who got flashed in, found out. Greg shot getting that last kill. And now Wildcard can focus on the move. And it looks like Guri for now have let this one be. But talking about moving pieces and things to keep track of, Eos Guri have been on the hunt with LG. The last two members still up. And it has been nades galore on both sides. As you can see, he's a crack and getting flashbanged after flashbanged after flashbanged by Luke 12 in Alo. And it's like might have lost sight of them. LGO are going to annihilate Team X. And as Luke 12 is going to have to try and creep closer to Alo. Mm. And see, look at that threat. I mean, you've got Greg shot at the top of the hill. Guri continuing to creep in the backside. There's so many shots in this direction. This is a tough spot to be if you're LG. Yeah, Sonic's out. EU and LG both down to one player. Ooh. But Luke going to spot out Beal. And he's going to go down. But yeah, Guri, I mean, they're in a lot of trouble. Wildcard just has free reign over all of this. Is LG has gone down. United still in it, but wild card in a beautiful spot. Ooh, he's so snaky. You do it. You, you, you got to get Juarez, stand up, get hello, my bad. I'm calling it right now. Kickstart? No, 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 no. Play it Oh, a name? Yeah, play, no, just play it quiet. Play it quiet. Play it chill. <gasps> oh, he sees that knock. If he sees him go for that res, you got to go for it. Yeah, yep, you got to go it. for it off the res. Yep, he's trying to stick it. Nice. Easy. Oh. Easy. Chef's kiss. I mean, we saw a really cool play from Kickstart yesterday. I feel like it's going to be the highlight. TMG is today. malding right oh. now. <laughs> they, are, they are so mad. I, I can hear chat right now. It's just rats, 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 rats. But you know what? Yeah, it you works. know what? Rat with two more kills than you just got. There you go. Fiumba trying to see if they can clean up what was left of A.S. Guri. Looks like they were able to get one. They got Baki. But Beal is a Kraken able to spread out before the rest of the Fiumba boys could clean him up. Three deep in the U.S. Oh, no. Oh, don't Run do it to him. Oh, we another saw what happened to Wild Card. Oh, Beal picks off two. Emmy and Capitan go down, but Guri are eliminated. As you can see, there you go. Nice nice little cleanup on this, but look, Trogloditas. They pushed forward. Post said kill demo once I'm on. I mean, A is Guri. What do you even say? They were so damn hard to kill. Ribo now the last one up for Fiuma is Trogloditas. I mean, they... They've just kind of been hanging out on the north, the eastern side, the northwestern side, rather. There's just been nobody up there. Uh, 11 alive in phase six. There is just a oh, giant there, open good. field ahead of everyone. I mean, we talked about that compound that Synergy had. The circle's going to hard shift back in that direction. That nade could be good. It lands right on top of Rebo. The second one should be enough to get the flush. Gets him down so low. Oh, he popped no. a first aid kit right as the nade hit Poro. It's the Battle of Latin America here in the final game of the day. As somehow Ribo and his heels are just hitting perfectly. There you go, Danny gonna be the one that gets them. And Synergy now up to five kills and they've got the driver's seat in this one. Trogloditas should be able to get that res back, get up to three strong, but there's the snake in the grass. So Vinny, mm -hmm. Vinny just hanging out right on the backside. And this, this is, you can hear alarm bells <laughs> ringing in the Synergy ears. Who are they shooting at? Are they shooting at you? They're not shooting at me. Who the, they're shooting at right now because I don't know. Okay, there it is. The solo gets spotted out in Synergy. Their backsides are clean. Tills him back on the roof again. The arm, ooh, a little trade on some of that damage. You see, kill demo. They've actually double minis out from Trogloditas along the edge of zone, but that position you point out for post is continuing to creep along the edge. His legs are in the blue, uh, just snaking, trying not to get caught as all the attention is going to Necro and kill Demo. This might even be a purpose oh. from Trogloditas so that Posa can get set up a great headshot from Silzen. I mean, Rusty Zera got a knock on Abenya, and now if Posa can po follow that up, if he can get a knock on a Pippa or Silzen, oh, that's big shots. Oh, you gotta hit those. There it is. Nicely done for Posa, and now he turns his attention towards a Silzen. Silzen looking back though with that arm, oh. and he knows it. Big shot from Silzen. And now Trogladidas, they're trying to make the push forward. Silzen the only one really looking right now. I mean, it was a good attempt at Trogladidas to send Huge. Posa in close, but as you saw, Silzen able to stay up on top of that. But Necro's nade takes Silzen down from the high ground. Danit Binya gonna have to do this one on foot. As you see, Rusty Zera, the AUG out. It is a 1v2, but Danit working on that res for Pippa, and that's not a player you want up against you. 
We see Binya is already going wide. He spots out Rusty's there, gets him down to half HP. Shots into the bail, but Binya is going to fall. The AUG superior in the 1v1 from this with that Molly going just a little bit too far. Rusty Zera is trying to stay up and alive, but here comes the push from Synergy. They waste no time no on this. Rusty Vera finds a second knock. Can no he get way. a third? It's a 1v1, 3 HP to Rusty Zera, but the blue is closing in fast. He pops the first aid kit. Can the final member still up for SG? Do something about it. Pippa with the high ground, switching to the M4, but Rusty Zera cleans up all of those kills and makes a run for circle. Pippa's just lying prone. He's just lying prone on the ceiling. Oh, he's gonna spot it. There it is, Pippa. We'll clean it up, but Rusty Zera, what a hero play for the player from Troglavitas. Another three kills in the pocket of Trog as well.